A former high-profile detective has denied any wrongdoing after facing charges related to the William Tyrrell investigation. Gary Jubilant pleaded not guilty to illegally recording conversations he had with a man about the boy's disappearance. His supporters have labelled the case a witch hunt by senior management in the New South Wales Police Force. Here's crime reporter Mark Reddy. He's been to court before, but never on the wrong side of the law until now. I have done nothing wrong and I will continue to uh, defend myself in regards to this. It's been almost five years since William Tyrrell vanished from Kendall on the New South Wales mid-north coast. And it was Gary Jubilant who led the investigation until misconduct allegations surfaced earlier this year. The former detective stands accused of illegally recording conversations with a man about the case. I had a lawful right and an operational need to record those conversations. The 57-year-old says he had no option but to resign after he was sidelined from the force. I was not allowed to carry out duties. I was taken off the investigations I was leading and I could no longer continue to support victims and lock up the bad guys like I've done throughout my career. His supporters gathered outside court, including the parents of Sydney man Matthew Levison. Gary was instrumental in gaining information that led to the location of our murdered son's remains. And those affected by the Bowerville murders in the 90s. To us it's a, it's a load of crap really, and, and it's a witch hunt. Victim families who've gathered here today to support Gary Jubilant want the police commissioner to intervene to have the charges dropped. They put their names to an online petition, which has so far attracted more than 12,000 signatures. And not a lot of coppers stick up for the Blackfellas either. And Gary's been there the whole time. The inquest into William Tyrrell's disappearance resumes on Monday. Despite leading the investigation for four years, Gary Jubilant hasn't been called to give evidence. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.